We're about to confront a scammer at their house, face to face. We've teamed up with Scammer Payback on YouTube to bait, investigate, and expose an international refund scam. This is Trilogy Media, and welcome to Scammed. Today, we're looking at the refund scam. You receive a call claiming that your computer services company is going out of business and owes you a refund, typically in the $300 range. They remote connect to your computer so they can process your refund, where they then log into your bank and manipulate the web page HTML to make it falsely look like you've received a refund. Not for $300 though, but much higher. In this case, $30,000. They then play the charade of fearing to lose their job unless you send them that money back, oftentimes in the form of mailed cash. Thanks to our friend Pierogi at Scammer Payback, he's able to keep these scammers on the hook by letting them connect to a virtual computer and a fake bank account. Today's scammer, using the name John Kudo, thinks he's about to receive a $30,000 payment from Pierogi. But Pierogi has other plans. John Kudo instructed Pierogi to make the check payable to somebody named Susan and mail it to her home address in San Diego, California. That package is on its way, but it doesn't have a check. What it will have is an interception from Trilogy Media. Please make sure to subscribe to Trilogy Media here on YouTube and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. And as with all public videos on our channel, this is completely free. So we would very much appreciate it if you'd become a channel member to support our channel, help us raise awareness, and gain access to all the exclusive perks and bonus content that we offer. And while you're at it, jump over to Scammer Payback on YouTube and show him some love as well. He deserves it. How wide does this scam spread? It might be happening right in your neighborhood. Who is receiving this money? And how will they react being exposed to the entire world? Find out right now in the very first episode of Scammed. The message is for Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers, it's me, John Kudo. Answer me, ma'am. You owe me my $29,000 or else I'm going to report you today and tomorrow you're going to see FBI knocking your door. Thank you, have a blessed day. What's going on, guys? What's it's up, Corey. man? Uh, we're up, Diragi. The Trilogy Media. I'm excited to talk with you guys. Right back at right you, brother. Right back at you, man. Scammer, scammer, payback. Payback. scammer Payback. So as you guys know, I let scammers connect to my PC, and we go through you know, tech support scams, refund scams. My name is John Kudo. I'm the Microsoft expert from the refund department. I'm going to connect to your computer, okay. and I'm going to give you the refund right away to your account. This special scammer I've been dealing with, his name's John Kudo. He wants about $30,000 from me. Now, a lot of my you know viewers, they've seen where We've gone far and tried to go after these kind of American mules across the U.S. They've been unsuccessful. So I really uh, wanted to reach out to you guys because a lot of these packages are going out to the West Coast. I obviously can't be there. My idea was, since these scammers are wanting to cash in on these huge payouts, let's see who's on the other side of it. I think it's really cool for us to join forces here. And I've gotten this kind of to kind of the goal line here. I need y'all to punch in the end zone. I don't know really if this is a victim or not, or if it's someone that's working with the scammers, but I'm sure curious to find out. So again, would you guys, you guys are cool with maybe going out there and, and seeing what we find? Absolutely. That sounds fun. You have a set of Dexter skills that is so far above my head that I, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> it's something we've always wanted to do is see where, where is the end point of this? Like who right. is doing this? We'll get some closure, I think, on where this money goes. Because I think a lot of people want to see where this money goes, so. So you're supposed uh, to send $30,000? What's their yeah. reason for asking for that from you? The computer companies, right, they call you up. They say that uh, they owe you a certain amount of money. What happens, they connect into your computer. Um, the scammers are actually remoting into a virtual machine or a fake computer that I run. Mm -hmm. And I also have a fake bank account, but uh, the real victims, they'll connect to their bank account. They'll see everything that's in there based off of how much money they have they'll then kind of edit the screen to make it look like they've given you X amount of money. So if you have a lot of money, they want to take more from you, obviously. If not, they'll take a couple thousand bucks, but they'll try to do this over and over again. So this scammer in particular connected my PC, um, saw that I had like two and a half million dollars in my savings account, which I wish I had that. I don't have that in there. <laughs> the first 
Baptist Financial Team Bank, right? Uh, yes, it's the First Baptist Bank of Sarasota. I live in Sarasota, Florida now. Instead of a $300 refund, um, he made it a $30,000 refund. So after that, they pretty much say they're gonna lose their job, they need you to help them out. They need that money back. Check your checking account, ma'am. Ending with 3419. Let me check. Um, let's see here. Six, why does it say 67,000? I don't know, ma'am. It says 67. How, what was your balance earlier? Um, I think it was like 50 something. St can you go to your activity, ma'am? It should be less because it's 67,000 because we transferred 30,000 by mistake. What? You did what? In this one, I've, I've written a check. So they wanted a check. So it's a check addressed to a person. To a person. Who is that person? The lady was in her 70s. Uh, oh, wow. She retired, I think. Uh, lives by herself. So that's again why it raised some red flags for me. You have to send us thirty dollar back thirty thousand oh, back. Thirty dollars? Okay, I'll send you thirty dollars. Thirty thousand, thirty thousand, ma'am. You can simply write us a check and send it to the address and your mailman will pick it up. You don't have to go anywhere. Could an old lady be a, a scammer, you know, like the, the lady in the motorized vehicle who robs Jim Carrey and <laughs> <laughs> Or could it be someone ba from... Russian babushka collecting could, money? Could they have stolen her identity? Maybe. Maybe it's not a elderly lady at all, and that exactly. person is um, theoretically could be a scammer. Probably is a scammer. Yeah, not to put you all in harm's way, but let you guys go out there and and do my unfinished business. So it's it's really cool that uh, we get to work together on this. So I'm I'm, I'm super excited about. Well, it. it's our pleasure, man. Thanks Likewise. for having us aboard. We're Absolutely. on board. Um, send us the information, and we will go check it out and see what we find. Well, I'm super intrigued um, as to who's behind that door when you knock on it, and um, it's going to be so interesting to find out. I'm already like seriously, I'm already oh, itching. I want to investigate. Let's do My hands are sweating over here. <laughs> yeah, here. I love it. Let's do it. What's actually in the package? What did you What, what, what did I, you put inside? What I did was I typed out all the names and the people involved. Uh, so the name of the person I'm sending the package to on a, on an envelope, the name of the scammer the name of the company that he supposedly works for, the dollar amount, all these things, all this evidence and information, printed it out and put it on the inside. So the scammer has a tracking number. So yeah, we so we sure tracking on our up. side, scammers tracking yeah. on the middle as a third party, and you tracking got, from your side. We all meet at the house. Yeah. Whoever this is going to is going to be in for a rude awakening, I think. And uh, it's going to be unprecedented to see what happens with you guys, I think. So. I'm excited. Well, thanks for having us on board, yeah. and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. Let's go pack some bags. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. All right. Let's do it. So, Pierogi overnighted a package. There's no check in there, but there is a piece of paper with this information on it. Uh, it's supposed to arrive in the next four and a half hours. San Diego is two hours away, so, so we supposed guess to... what we're doing? Driving! In the meantime, let's meantime, look at this let's... address. Yeah, let's, let's check the neighborhood. Susan Now, the thing about this is, is that, like I said, they usually don't do checks. So the fact that the check is made out to a woman named Susan means that there's someone named Susan in on this scam. Probably. Well, there Usually are... it's cash, it could go anywhere. Right. But he actually wrote a check and the scammer asked for this. A check made out to Susan and they're claiming that it's a Microsoft refund overpayment. So they overpaid him so they're asking for it back. Either she part of this scam organization or she's the victim. Okay, there is a bush, so a Weasel bush. gonna go in a bush. There's a bush. Weasel gonna go in a bush, right? And I'm gonna sit in there. And when I see like, you know, a person is going to, I'm gonna jump. How do you feel, Chris? Feel nervous. <clears throat> yeah, me too. But on the same on the same token, it's like, what the f Why this needs to be exposed? Like, what is going on? Somebody has to go to jail for that. So we just got to San Diego. We're literally like three miles from the house and then we just checked the tracking number and it jumped from today to tomorrow. It's supposed to be by 10.30 a.m. today. 
It now says 10.30 a.m. tomorrow, which sucks dick. It's 8.21 in the morning. It could be a system error. It's kind of weird that it would change. It was, he was overnighted, so I don't know why that would happen. But we need to call Pierogi, and our options are either wait until tomorrow and come back, or dress Art up like a UPS delivery guy and send him to the door anyway and see what happens. I mean, we're already here, so I don't know. I don't know what to do. We can find an office supply store, get a UPS flat rate envelope, get some kind of desk, doesn't matter. Go to the door and knock and see what happens. If nobody answers. Hello? Okay, what's up guys? Hey, brother. Hey, I just check on UPS and I put a truck, uh, tracking number and it says delivery switch to Wednesday. I'm gonna call my guy up at, at the UPS store. Uh, see what's going on. Pierogi, um, as a as a backup plan, we can get Art a empty envelope and put a vest on him and send him to the door and say we have a delivery for Susan and see what happens. You know, I mean, it, I guess it doesn't really matter what envelope is there. It's just a matter of getting their face, right? They expecting today, package today. today. If they're tracking it, at least until an hour ago they were. So, right, right. Because so, we're like three miles from the house. Uh, do you guys want me to call the scammer at all? Like, for whatever reason, the tracking stuff is, like, messed up. But I called the UPS people, and they said that it's, like, on the way. Yeah, you could tell them it'll be there within the hour. I'm sorry, because <laughs> I paid money for it to be, you know, overnighted. Not your fault. So, it's not your fault. Um, well, that's why let's, well, let's, let's do a plan we're, we're, B. We're already here, so let's make use of it. Like, why don't you call the scammer and say that you called UPS, and it's supposed to be there by 10 a.m. latest or something, and we'll we'll head over. Right. Okay, I'll give him a call right now. All right, thanks. Give him a call, and meanwhile, we're going to go uh, start looking for that stuff to buy. Okay, I'll call you guys back in a minute. Thanks, man. Okay, sounds good. All we really need is a picture of her face, so that, even if it's 10 seconds with the door open, you know, try to position yourself in a way that you can zoom in somehow on her face. So we'll, and we'll, we'll be all, all on standby. At least, exactly. so we, at least if she answers the door and then slams the door right away again, we'll have her face. Yeah. That's most important, his or her face. I just talked to that little shithead, and uh, he said that the lady will be the lady will be ready for the package, and that he's he knows he's been tracking it, and he thinks that it's coming within the hour. So we should be good. So okay. So I uh, have to tell her to expect the package, and that it's coming within the hour. So he's so, saying that she's ready. She's at home, and she's ready for f***ing package delivery. Yeah. Unbelievable. This is crazy. This is f***ed up. I know. We're gonna go to a store right now and get a few supplies and then we'll head over within the hour. I don't understand how she could be a victim and with a check in her name, it doesn't make sense. We'll see, it's gonna be an interesting ending. I'm, yeah. uh, we, we're curious, we cannot wait. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you, brother. Okay, right. we'll talk to you later. Yeah, cheers, guys. All right, okay, see you. cheers, bye. Well, all right. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> Whoa, we're going weasel on the cover. Oh, God, okay. It's not a game, it's a rich Hello, good morning. Are you here? Oh yeah. Yeah. And maybe get maybe get this to put inside of it so it has a little bit of weight. You can like fold it. And that's why it feels like there's a paper in there. Oh actually no, this is what I was looking for. That's what I'm looking for. That looks better. Are you sure? Like a flat, yeah, because it's a check. Do you have any um t-shirts like these for sale? Because <laughs> they're like one shirt. He's, um, yeah, I have audition. What are you doing? He's is he like hitting there filming stuff? This sounds really entertaining. No, no, <laughs> we're, we're taping an audition for him. Uh, he's trying to be like a mail carrier guy. Well, so he's, he's trying to get some props. It's a for TV show, so, so I was, like, like uh, trying to be. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. Oh man, whatever you can do, man, it's great. That, that will be the uh, life saving. Because you are jacked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, really? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, do it. That's amazing. Can I pay for these? Um, is it anything that we can? I have nothing in my system. It's selling shirts. Oh my god. But I think this is hilarious. So this is this is <laughs> really you cool. Absolutely <laughs> made much. my day. Like, no, this made my day. Hey, you made my day. Have a great day. Man. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. We. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. See you. <laughs> Okay, just yeah. change right there, why don't you?
Okay, let's write her name. That be Yeah, will you pull up the photo? This will be the check inside of it. Okay, I'm gonna seal this. I should put something up here. Yeah. Return address. Make something up. What's Natasha Ho's address? 6969 G Spot Avenue, Los Angeles, California. Okay, and then if you're gonna have her like sign something, what would be the way to go about that? We can you go. You didn't have a clipboard, so. Dude, but this is legit. I have something for you. You wanna go ask him? If he has any kind of pad of paper or something. I should take this off because it's supposed to go for the audition. I don't wanna walk in okay. with the same. You don't need to bring the whole camera crew in again. Yeah. Um, not a shirtless weasel in this video. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking for something that, you know, like a, like the, the clipboard that we've been talking about, you know, like right. when you usually ask customers. Hold on, hold on. We might have like some piece of shit that we don't care about. <laughs> you freaking, you freaking unbelievable. Who are you? You're the coolest dude ever. He said, hold on one second. Let me go in the back and see if we have some piece of shit we don't need. <laughs> UPS delivery. Okay. Are you Susan? Yes. Yes, you are. Are you expecting package? Yes, I am. Yes. All right. One second. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Sign over here, please. Outside is my phone. Okay. Do you know what inside inside of the package? I think it's a check. It's a check. And you know for what this check is? Mm -hmm. For what? Internet security? Yeah. What do you mean by internet security? They're repaying me money that was taken out of my account. Oh. Well... Your name is Susan? Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, we have a... Who, who's sending you this money? I believe it's my uh, internet security. From what company? Uh, Kaspersky. Okay. Do you know that you're being scammed? You don't know anything what's going on? Well, no. Th I, I know that I was scammed when I, the money was taken out of my... How much account? was taken out? Oh gosh, like 31,000. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. We we are YouTubers and we expose scams. We independent yeah. Do yeah. documentaries. We're not, we're not here to cause yeah. problems yeah. at no. all. We're, we're documenting this because that there's no check in there. Uh, the person that's saying that to you uh, is a friend of ours. He's a YouTuber as well. Oh. And uh, he's been talking to these overseas refund scammers that claim to be Microsoft. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he was told to send a check to a Susan, you know, mm. your, and your last name. Uh, for what, 29,400 yeah. something like 29, that? 29,400, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So what we're trying to find out right now is if the person living in this house is also a scammer no. or if you've been deceived. I've been deceived. I think you've been deceived. When did you get scammed? Um, How long time ago? Two years. Oh, wow. Two years ago? Yeah. No, they wiped your account for $30,000. Yeah, so I've been waiting for them to reimburse me, get my money God. And right now, scammer reached out to you and he said that you're going to get a check? Well, I, he's not the scammer. He's the person that's in the internet security. It's a scammer. It's a scammer. Yeah. Yeah. So he said, so he's like uh, internet security and he mm -hmm. promised that you're going to get check. Yeah. To but, reimburse you. Yeah. 
did he claim to be from Microsoft or who? who well, it's a Microsoft company, but Kaspersky is yeah. the internet. We were a little skeptical as to whether who's going to be at this house. Yeah. Um, because that's why we went, we got UPS uh, t-shirts and everything because yeah. Scammer is talking to our guy who sent this check, right? He said, okay, so the Scammer got the tracking number, everything. Mm -hmm. What I don't understand, why would Scammer send check to Susan? I know when it happened two years ago, um, I, my computer was being compromised. There were people trying to get in and take money out of my credit cards. And so, and of course, I trusted this company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in order to block these people from getting into my account, he had me go get gift cards, you know. Oh, and, yeah. no, that's no. exactly it. That's how this, yeah, that's know, how this came. And of course, then, you know, when they did send me a check to help toward it, the check was bad, of course, you know, and then the, it bounced. the bank told me that yeah. you were scammed, so they closed out my account, and then I had to... So what did they know. tell you was coming today? Did they say they were sending you a check? How did you know that these they packages came? They said their billing team. Your, yeah. That billing team is our friend across the country. He's not any... He doesn't work for any company. Yeah. He's another victim. Yeah. He knows what's happening, so he's yeah. just playing along. Mm -hmm. But he was told by the same people to send a check to a Susan for twenty nine four. And so he got us involved because we're local and said, right. hey, I don't know what's going on. They usually ask for cash, yeah. but they ask for a check. So this I'm is the first time this when, person yeah. is either being scammed or she's in on it. Clearly, you're yeah. not in on this. But yeah. Now, he told me, he says, when you get it, don't open it. He said, call me. We'll open it together. And, you know, well, yeah. And that was so. on the memo that was called. The reference number. The reference number. He told our buddy, uh, who's another YouTuber, you have to put a six-digit code on the memo. What's actually happening in this is not the package. We've yeah. been tracking the package to try to mm -hmm. intercept it. Our so friend sent it, it from... He sent it overnight. It was supposed to be here today, yeah. but then we just checked the tracking. It's coming tomorrow instead. So that's just fake. There's nothing in there. But we wanted to be able to talk to whoever it was. Yeah. So you're actually going to be getting the package tomorrow. Uh, there's no check in it. It's just a piece It's of a paper. whole information about who exactly, yeah. like yeah. your information, your first name, your last name, my heart, money. My heart breaks for you right now. Um, so scammer is waiting until she's gonna read open check together open that package mm -hmm. together from because he thinks yeah. that our guy is real right and send money yeah. and when he gonna read that reference number mm -hmm. they will be able to access to the account Probably. so through her they're using her as they're a, using her as an outlet Jesus. to get that 30,000 from another victim so there is steps by steps that so many people oh involved mm -hmm. okay did you report it to the police at all when it first happened no I didn't I think the bank did. Do you remember his name? At the security yeah. place, yeah. I know they changed names. Yeah, all, yeah. The, all the time. Oh yeah, his name is John Kudo. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. This is really crazy. Yeah. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Mm -hmm. My sister's been telling me all along, she said, Sue, you've been scammed. And I said, yeah, I believe I have. But I said, I'm, I'm waiting to see if this really comes through. Yeah. Hey, buddy. What's up? All right, go ahead. We're at uh, Susan's house right now, and she's standing right next to us. And she is has no idea what's going on. She has been taken for a ride, and she's standing right here next to us, and she can hear you. Oh, my God. She got scammed two years ago for $30,000. Wow. So she's been waiting. They've been telling her a check is going to come her way. And, and that's they're going to open together. That's what this was supposed to be, but he's the one that sent the check. Yeah. So you, yeah. Sent, you sent the check to me, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, I sent, well, I didn't send you a check, but I, I no. sent a, you know, a, a package with the information. So what you were going to open up was a piece of paper that faded out the scam um, that they wanted you to help them with. And that's what my assumption was, was that somehow they, that you were a victim of what they have done to you. Um, and so you know... Do you know this company? Do you know this company? This internet security, Kaspersky? Um, yeah, I, I know Kaspersky and those guys are not Kaspersky. Okay. No, they're not. Okay. What was the name of that scammer uh, you talked to this morning? You told me his name earlier. Uh, his name is John. He goes by John Kudo. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, that's, she confirmed that's the guy. Yeah, yep. that's who I've been dealing with all along. For how long? Two years. Oh, two years. Oh my God. She's been talking to the same scammer for two years. Yeah. What? Don't talk too loud because the guy across the street is listening. He's a former policeman, and I don't like him knowing people's yeah. business. No worries. Yeah, 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 I got you. Susan, I, you know, I do want to say that, I, you know, I'm very sorry that this has happened. Um, 
we deal with this all the time. <laughs> and it's, it's very, very sad. It's, uh, yeah. And it gets us really fired up. That's why we're doing what we're doing. Yeah. And um, whatever we can do to help you, I, I'm, we're 100% here to help. Whatever you need, we're, we're here to help. Thirty thousand dollars. They, they, they. Uh, so you bought worth of thirty thousand dollars gift cards. Yeah, they were all gift cards. So you went to the store like Target or something, yeah, and you yeah, bought. Yeah, he gift kept telling me that they needed them in order to block these other scammers, yeah. I guess, to get into my account. That's what they were going to do. They were going to have her uh, cash the check into her account, and mm -hmm. then go buy more cards. Yeah, that's hundred percent. So there is actually no UPS truck that's going to be coming by and delivering anything tomorrow. But it's it's but just what it's, it's, it's just yeah, yeah. So sorry for that. You know, it's keeping your hopes. Yeah, I kept thinking uh, eventually I'll get this. Okay, good. That's our website it's and our it, email, and okay. you can see our YouTube channel now. We do this okay. all the time. I'm really sorry, Susan. Yeah. Susan, um, please. Uh, you know, in these yeah. it's already time is not uh, not you know like really uh positive and stuff and especially yeah. what happening um around the world so but yeah. please stay healthy and positive and yeah. as long as you're healthy you know mm -hmm. um material my money comes and yeah. goes yeah, yeah. exactly so. you know i mean i i get a pension and a social security so i've been using that to pay down my credit mm -hmm. cards you know yeah. Please keep us. Is there a name that I? Uh, my name's Ashton. If Ashton, you want. Uh, Art, that's our generic email, yeah. but it'll. Can I want to yeah. this down, Ashton? Ashton, mm -hmm. A S H T O N. Thank you I'm for so intercepting sorry. this of and course. telling me about it because. Uh, yeah. Thank Stay you safe. God bless you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye -bye. Cheers. Bye bye. So keep doing the good stuff. Thank you, you guys so much. <laughs> Have a great you might day. Might save huh? somebody else. I uh, hope so. That's the <laughs> idea. <laughs>
What kind of scam are you pulling on me? Ma'am, you don't have anything in it? There's nothing in it. My goodness, how is it possible? You tell me. It's possible you because... You know how it's possible? Because people like you taking advantage of elderly people. How dare you to do this to Susan and every single person, every single victim. We send you that check. We scam baiters. We're on YouTube channel. We preventing innocent people to get scammed. And you took Susan for a ride for two years? How dare you? You should be ashamed of yourself. You're gonna burn in hell. There is no check and there is nothing coming in your dirty pocket. Okay, can you give me some time so that I can check this? There's nothing to check. There is Look nothing in the to... mirror and you'll see the problem. You use Susan as a, as a like you put her on a ride just to take that money. There we go. We'll keep you anonymous, but yeah, is there anything you want to say to people that either have fallen for scams or almost did, or some a, a tip that would help people to remember to not fall for this next time? Like, what what was it that that got you? Was there a certain what thing they said, him, yeah. or a certain feeling they made you feel, or anything you can give to reward people in the future about this? Well, the thing is, is that there was somebody trying to get into my accounts. Did they remote connect to your computer? Well, they actually brought up a picture of somebody. I said, do you know this person? I said, no. And they said, well, he's the one that's trying to get into your account and get you money. So that was a, okay. Yeah. That could have been a lie. But sure. then they connected to your computer, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's how they got you to allow them to do it. So, yeah. And so the best thing to do is that if anyone ever asks you that they need a, a gift card to fix the problem, Red hang flag. up on them. Hang up, yeah. Yeah. And I have since then. I mean, I've had stuff coming down mm -hmm. the phone all the time. Especially now. nowadays, they're yeah. using the pandemic yeah. to and I make get it even other, harder. I get other internet companies that call and say, you know, um, we, we worked on your computer, you know, and I need you to go to your computer so we can fix the problem we're having. I said, oh, no, you're not. I said, she's just a scammer, and I'm mm -hmm. just hang up on them. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, but you never file a police report, nothing. I didn't because I, I thought that they were going to come through and, yeah. you know. Yeah. And you keep believing until the yeah, end. Yeah, and I didn't want to involve the police, you know, in case because, I don't know. It was stupid. It's okay. We, we, trust me, we, we all been and done that at some point yeah. or you like. Yeah. What I was thinking of, yeah. and uh, it doesn't matter if you're 16 or you're 69, yeah. age, the age, yeah. It's it's yeah. irrelevant. Mm -hmm. uh, they just they just find a way how to get your money. Yeah. Susan, thank you for your brave. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. This is going to help a lot so, of people. Yeah. yeah. I know not we, to deal with them anymore. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Block them, and if you have any yeah. problems, just send them our way. Yeah. And if you need anything, send us an email. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, Thanks. Susan. Thank you. Have a better much day. Love. Okay. Thank One you. more time. Thank yeah. you so much thank for you. and stay strong. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, he sure sounded surprised, didn't he? Yeah. He was like nothing. Exactly. Have a great day, Susan, okay? okay? Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Wow. Hey, man. Thanks for setting all this up, man. Of course. I have. Continue so, getting these investigations. I got like chills right now. It's, uh, I can only imagine what it's like for you guys. Yeah, it was heartbreaking. Uh, it was heartbreaking. We never actually yeah. got to see a face of victim who's expecting uh, um, a refund check for being scammed two years ago. Yep. And it's a heartbreaking experience. I, uh, I must tell you that. Yep. That's unbelievable. It's just shocking. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we've got, we have a bunch more. So, Great. Uh, well, let's keep busting them. We got work to do. Let's Great. protect our citizens.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Ashton. Uh, uh, and this is Trilogy, Trilogy Media. Media. Make sure if this is your first time here, please subscribe to the channel. We do weekly, multiple times per week, scam busting live streams and videos. Live streams. So smash that notification bell as Punishments. well. You don't want to miss any uploads or any live streams. So please, please subscribe. It would make our day. Thank you so much. We love you. His we day. Love you. My day. Our day. Both of our day. Our world. Be in the squad. Wow. Love you. Wow.